You know what I'm really into right now? I am so into a one and done eyeshadow look. As the name would suggest, you get one eyeshadow, you put it all around your eyes, quick slick of mascara, and you're Gucci. It's obviously like really easy and quick and quarantine friendly, uh, but it also just feels cooler to me. Kind of like effortless, cool girl, Vogue cover chic. You know what I mean? So today I'm gonna to chat about some of my favorite one and done eyeshadow shades. Uh, we've got uh, cream eyeshadows, cream eyeshadow sticks, liquid eyeshadow, powder formulas, a little bit of everything. I would describe most of these as nuanced neutrals. But there are a few pops of color for those of you who, who like a little bit of a, a color blocking vibe. Uh, so I thought it was really important also that you guys saw all of these shades on the curvature of the eye to, to really see how dynamic um, these products are. So yesterday I put, I put on and I removed 15 eyeshadows from my right eye. Listen, if anyone tries to troll me in the comments saying that my eyeshadow blending isn't good enough, I will find you. Me and my raw red eyelids, we will find you. And we will kidding, kidding, kidding. The Tom Ford Cream Color for Eyes in Platinum. If you're not familiar with the Cream Color for Eyes formula, it's almost like a, a mousse. So it's quite a loose cream formula. And Platinum, I think, is just an absolute masterpiece of a shade, right? It's not too dark, it's not a smoky shade, but it's not like a boring champagne either. And it's not warm, but it's not cool. It has almost like a little bit of a warmer base and then a cooler reflect on top that gives it this perfectly neutral quality. It's almost like I would describe it like a putty kind of tone, a bit of a grayish tone. It blends out super easily. You don't even need a brush. You can just pat it out with your fingers. There's no fallout. It is truly one of my, um, one of my all time favorite makeup products, if I can say that. The only cons are that Tom Ford obviously it's like super duper expensive, um, eye-wateringly expensive. And also, I'm not sure that this formula would stay put on a very oily eyelid. These creams are not as long wearing as something like a MAC paint pot, but it's beautiful. The Charlotte Tilbury Eyes to Mesmerize Cream Eyeshadows. This is the shade Marie Antoinette. If for whatever reason you'd rather not buy the, the Tom Ford, the Charlotte Tilbury Eyes to Mesmerize are almost almost an identical formula. Uh, I think Charlotte Tilbury actually was the, um, the creative uh, director at Tom Ford Beauty for a while, so this is likely not a coincidence. Uh, they're a very similar formula. Marie Antoinette is another beautiful nuanced neutral that doesn't lean too warm nor too cool and it goes with an abundance of, of um, lip and cheek colors. Application wise, you can just apply this with a finger onto the lid and then use a clean finger to buff out the edges. I tend to prefer using a brush um, just because it's a little bit smaller, easier to get in the small areas. So I'll take a, a fluffy synthetic eye brush and then deposit most of the product over the mobile lid, brush off any excess product off the brush and then windscreen wiper through the crease. And that should take about 20 seconds flat. For something a little bit more affordable, I really adore a lot of the ColourPop Super Shock shadows as one and done eyeshadow shades because they have that hybrid formula that's like between a cream and a powder, you can use your fingers, you can use a brush, they're just really quick and easy. I love the shade Desert in particular on my skin tone, which is sort of like a, like a good sandy kind of color that's really great with warm looks. There is a slight sheen in this formula that I think is just really flattering. It's not a complete flat matte. Um, and also this formula is very thin between the fingertips. So I find that it doesn't pick up a lot of um, texture on the eyelid if you have some texture there. Yeah, I could have spoken about 10 different ColourPop Super Shock shadow shades, but I think Desert is the one that I use most as a one and done eyeshadow look. The MAC Pro Longwear Paint Pot in the shade Lay and Low. So when I look at this, I just have visions of like that 60s peachy matte kind of vibe. Um, it's like my lid, but warmer. And it is quite a light peach shade, so um, better suited to those of you who are paler. If you're much deeper than me, I think that this is gonna look a little bit chalky on you. The MAC Pro Longwear Paint Pot formula is pretty dry. I mean, it's the driest of all the eyeshadows that I'm speaking about today. Um, so if you have very dry skin, that might be a skip for you, but they have fabulous longevity and they're, they're paint pots. It's a classic. I've got to mention it. The MAC 
Pro Longwear Paint Pot in the shade Groundwork. You guys, Groundwork. I've been wearing this shade for 15 years. It is one of the originals and it is still one of the best. To me, this stands the test of time. Uh, again, Groundwork is a little bit more of a taupey brown. Uh, it's not as warm and orangey as a lot of the browns on the market. This one's just that little bit cooler. And I'll often take this on a big synthetic uh, eye brush and really circle the entire eye, go onto the lower lash line, keep those edges really blown out and soft. And I think done correctly, it doesn't even look like an eyeshadow. So you don't look at someone and say, hey, what's that eyeshadow? You look at them and you just think, hey, great eyes. Rouge Bunny Rouge Gossamer Wing. So this is a doe foot um, cream eyeshadow. And of all the products, um, all the eyeshadows I mentioned today, this one is the sheerest. It is beginner friendly. Even if you don't have any eyeshadow skills, you just swipe this on and blend it out with your finger. Very, you know, work appropriate. It's wonderful actually on more mature eyelids because this formula and the luminosity is so refined and it's so elegant that it doesn't pick up on any texture or fine lines on the eyelid. It almost reminds me of like a lid glow, just like a slightly glowy lid. It's not like a, a sparkle or, or a glossy effect. It's like looking at a light through a gauzy satin curtain or something, something like that. Oh, wow, bringing out the poetry here. Oh, another cult classic, the By Terry Ombre Black Star in the shade Bronze Moon. So it says bronze, but I'm not sure I would necessarily describe this as a bronze. Um, it's maybe a desaturated bronze is perhaps more accurate. And this is what I love to use as a smoky eye light moment. I'll take this all over the lid and into the crease and buff out the edges and it gives you a soft daytime smoky eye that is just really easy and quick. When you swatch this you think oh wow that's a lot of sparkle even a little bit of micro glitter. Don't stress. Buy Terry. Buy Terry man. She's got you covered. She will make that sparkle grown up and work appropriate. Very long wearing as you would expect from a eyeshadow stick. I also want to mention an, a runner-up shade, Misty Rock. Misty Rock is for those of you who like a little bit more of a mauvey kind of moment. It's a very unique shade and actually the shade that I'm wearing on my eyes today. I'm wearing one eyeshadow on my eyes today and a little bit of a brown eyeliner on the bottom lash line but all of this is Misty Rock. You know, what I'm, you know what I'm saying? It doesn't have to be boring just because it's one eyeshadow. <laughs> I'm so proud of this. This is one of my all-time favorite drugstore discoveries. The Revlon Colorstay Velour Eyeshadow Sticks. This formula is insane, you guys. I can't believe that they delivered this at such an awesome price point. So buttery, so smooth, so blendable. This is the shade Sierra. Every now and again, I just have this craving. Like, I just... I want a big orange eye and it just hits me. I don't know where it comes from. And often I would use the shade, um, the NARS eyeshadow single in the shade Persia, which has got that real punchy orange vibe. But then I discovered Sierra and this has been my go-to, my go-to for an orange eye. And this formula just, I think the most special thing about it is the way it blends out. For such a strong, saturated color, it gives you the perfect gradient. It is your edges are perfectly hazy and you didn't even try. Um, so yeah, love the velour eyeshadow sticks. The longevity is awesome as you would expect from any eyeshadow stick. I only wish they had more shades because I would buy all of them. Let me just interrupt your regular scheduled viewing with this Barbie moment, you guys, Huda Beauty Wednesday, I'm, I'm calling it. This is like such a standout product um, in my collection. It's like a pale, chalky, pink Barbie vibe and 10-year-old me is ah. I love to wear this all around the eye with just a slick of mascara for that color blocking editorial uh, vibe. Oh, pastels. I'm so into pastels right now. This is the, the formula is called Huda Beauty Matte and Metal Melted Shadows. And it's double sided. On one side, you have a matte shade. And on the other side, you have a real kind of glittery um, top coat. The glitter top coat is nice, but I really find myself reaching for, for the matte sides. 
This formula, you do, you do have to work quite quickly, otherwise it'll get patchy. Um, but once you've got the, the, the uh, hang of it, it, it's really easy and it will reward you with insane longevity. Like you could go swimming in these. So I love the shade Wednesday for my Barbie moment. I also love the shade Private Jet, uh, which is sort of like a, a muted coral perhaps. It's actually insanely wearable, um, a muted coral on the eyes. And then of course, the most neutral of them all, uh, cashmere robe, which is another desaturated minky brown that doesn't register like too much like makeup. It just gives the eyes really beautiful definition. Yeah, this formula, the matte and metal melted shadows is kind of like one of, my, one of the standout formulas over the last few years for me. So moving on from the cream eyeshadows and the liquid eyeshadows, let's move on to a few of my favorite powder one and done eyeshadows. And you know, you know I had to do it, the MAC Woodwinked. Do I even need to say anything? MAC Woodwinked, that's all we need to learn today. All right, everyone, pack up, home time. I don't care what brands bring out what, Woodwinked will always be special to me. Woodwinked is uh, one of those shades that when applied all over the eye, it looks like two or three different colors. So on the lid, it has a little bit more of a, a bright gold effect. And then in the crease, it becomes, it takes on a little bit of a coppery dimension. It's really a nuanced eyeshadow. And if you love a, a big warm eye, Woodwinked, you know it. Another favorite from MAC actually, um, this is MAC Soba. Soba doesn't look exciting in the pan. You don't look at it and think, oh yeah, I'm gonna take that home and put it all over my eyes. But that's what you should do. Soba is, it's a really interesting, warm, sooty, like ochre kind of shade. It almost has a bit of a mustard edge that, that makes it a little bit more interesting than your regular brown. And there is a slight luminosity running through it. It's not a sparkle. It just give, gives the lid a little bit of a glow. And that sparkle also helps the formula. Oftentimes formulators will add a little bit of shimmer into a matte and it makes it easier to blend. Also, it makes for one of the best transition shades for a smoky eye in case you needed, um, you needed some more encouragement. And then the final MAC shadow, I had to mention one more. This is Stars and Rockets. What? Stars and Rockets? Oh, you know what? You can't count on this channel for consistent uploads, let's be honest, but you can always count on this channel for some nostalgia. This is like my intergalactic one and done eyeshadow. It's got um, a duochrome. So in different lights, it looks a little bit different. It flashes from a pink to a purple to a violet. Um, and it's a beautiful one to put all over the eyes with a quick slick of mascara for that bit of an editorial pop of color. Um, but it's also really beautiful if you apply it over a black base, you will get some of the most insane duochrome shift that you've ever seen ever. So yeah, stars and rockers, love you. I really want to shout out the Pat McGrath single eyeshadows. I feel like I don't hear many people talk about these and the formula is lush. They are gorgeous. Um, I wanted to mention like five different shades, but I've narrowed it down to one. This is telepathic taupe. Um, which, is it a taupe? Is it not a taupe? What the hell is taupe? Nobody actually knows. I would describe this as another desaturated bronze tone. It's got some go um, greenish gold reflect in there and also a little bit of an eggplant or, or purple in the base. It's a very unique shade. And as you blend it out, you can really appreciate all of that nuance. I really didn't want to get too deep into palettes because I thought, ooh, that might be a rabbit hole from which we never emerge. We're just talking about eyeshadow palettes forever. But I did want to mention the Huda Beauty New Nudes palette. I know this is kind of a little bit of an older release, but this palette just, I just keep reaching for it. It's, it just seems to be what I feel like all the time. Now, the one and done eyeshadows in this palette are the foils. These foils, uh, like I, they just completely caught me off guard. Now they are a little bit more crumbly to touch and so I find that I can get a little bit of fallout, um, but in this case, I'll just do my eyes before my base and it's well worth the hassle. There is so much nuance and complexity to these foil shadows. You can see like multi-color glimmers, lime, periwinkle, cornflower. You just see all these colors when you look closely. 
and um, in the cutaway I apply um, this shade here and it's like a burgundy oil spill. Ugh. I mean, who doesn't want that on their eyes? And it's just one shade blended out and that gives you quite, quite an evening, quite an evening um, pop, pop of color love. Let me know in the comment section down below what are your favorite one and done eyeshadows. I'm really curious to hear. You know who I would love to create this video? Mariah Leonard. She, I feel like she would have like the coolest nuanced color blocking kinds of one and done eyeshadow recommendations. Mariah, if you've not done a video like this, I would love to see that from you. Um, and also Jamie Page and also Alana Davison and also Samantha Ravendahl. And can I make it a tag? If so, I also tag Rachel Brooke and I tag you. Um, whoever you are, wherever you are, I tag you to do this video. Let's, let's make it happen. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Stay safe and I shall speak to you all very soon. Bye.